Hi, I'm Matt Beagle with your Stratomatic Strategy of the Month. This month we're going to talk about how to finish off a playoff team. In an earlier blog we talked about rebuilding versus reloading and how to decide when to go for it with your team and when to rebuild for the future. So assuming you're going to go for it, the question is when I'm drafting or making trades, how do I focus and do things differently if I have a playoff team? If you have a playoff team, you got to look for those pieces, and all that matters is what they're going to, what their role will be on your final roster. One of the biggest questions is hitters versus pitchers. If I have a chance to add another good number three starter or number four starter to my rotation, am I better to do that or a guy in my lineup? I would advocate that you always want to add the guy to your lineup because he's going to play every game, whereas a third or fourth starter is only going to start one or two games in your playoff series, whereas the batter makes a difference every single week every single game. The same thing when it comes starters versus relievers. Most people would go pay the extra money for that extra number three or four starter. I would advocate instead to have an awesome bullpen that's very deep. If you have mediocre starters, another theory goes, I mean, we all want a number one or number two starter is very good. But if you don't happen to have one, instead of paying that over high price to get one, you're almost better to have a full rotation of mediocre starters and have a killer bullpen. Let those starters just keep you in the game for about five innings and then have lots of bullpen innings and depth that you can then play matchup for the last four. It's a lot cheaper to get relievers in the draft. There's a ton of relievers out there and they literally can pitch every game. So if your team does get a big lead, you can milk your starter out for some extra innings. You can do matchups. You can do one-sided relievers. There's lots of different things you can do with a bullpen compared to being tied down or paying through the nose for a starter. With this being the year of the pitcher, remember I told you earlier, don't overpay for starting pitchers because there are more good ones this year than ever. Another thing to remember about hitters is it's often good to supplement your lineup. We all know we'd like to have a good everyday guy, but it's also good to supplement with pinch hitters and pitch runners for end game purposes. Getting a Henry Blanco as your backup catcher or Chris Parmley from Minnesota has a really great card. Getting a real great low at bat pinch hitting card can really make the difference when it comes time in the squeeze, the late innings, when your opponent brings in a, a killer relief pitcher that happens to neutralize one of your weaker hitters to be able to bring one of those guys off the bench. Another thing to remember is that pinch runners can be really effective in a playoff series in a close game to bring somebody off the bench, uh, Gentry from Texas or you know, Scott Pudsednik back in the day, or I remember Luis Polonia, one of the keys with these guys is they want to have a good high percentage of getting their lead because when you bring them in the ninth inning, you don't want to just bring them in for their running rating. You want to get that extra steal to stay out of a double play and get the extra base. So you want to get a guy, it doesn't matter whether he's a 19 or 20 rating, what matters is how often he gets that good lead and his uh, running rating then is 17 or higher on his chances. So having a pinch runner on your bench, that last guy, maybe he can be a fielding replacement in the outfield, and be a pinch runner. He gets uh, replaces that slow catcher. He can steal a base for in late innings. And again, if he if he's only getting a roll on two or three to try to get that lead, that's not real effective pinch runner. You want to get a guy who gets a lot of leads a high percentage of the time. Utilize him to get that extra base stolen in that ninth or tenth inning game. Obviously, if you need those spots for pitchers and other parts of your roster, but that's just another way you can supplement your team. When you're drafting and people I talk to about when they're building a team, should I draft this guy or this guy? When you're drafting, it only matters what they're going to be like in the postseason. So again, eschew that number four starter. Instead, build up your killer bullpen with lots of depth and those extra pinch hitters off the bench. For Stratomatic Strategy of the Month, I'm Matt Beagle.